don't think there's a week goes by without some sort of headline which tells us how badly the high street's doing. And we think we've got the silver bullet. And dad of four, Chris, already has at least one backer outside the den. But my eldest daughter, she's uh, incredibly supportive. She wrote me a little note which said, you're an inspiration. I'm welling up now, so just uh, be careful. Hello, dragons. My name is Chris Reed. I'm the founder of Proxy Smart Limited. I'm here looking for an investment of £80,000 in exchange for 32% in equity. Now then, six out of 10 town centre businesses cite car parking as their biggest barrier to trade. Why? Because it's a long established pain point for consumers. You ever had to rush back to your car because your ticket was about to expire? You ever had to queue to validate your ticket just so you can get out of a car park? Even the current crop of pay by phone options have got you scratching around looking for a location code, or worse still, you're shouting down the phone at a voice recognition robot which just doesn't understand a Geordie accent. <laughs> We've created a multi-award winning solution which removes all of these issues and we call it Parking Perks. Parking Perks offers consumers hassle-free, cost-free car parking. And we use this as leverage to uplift footfall, sales and loyalty in offline town centre businesses. So how does it work? Well, we use smart beacons like these, which we deploy in and around car parks and parking spaces. When you arrive at a car park, a wireless handshake between the beacon and your smartphone triggers a proactive message. It'll say something like, hello, Deborah, welcome to York Street Car Park. Are you parking your Ford Fiesta? And you simply <laughs> tap yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> you can manage your parking event and be on your way in under 10 seconds. And best of all, it can also be free because when you make qualifying purchases at participating merchants in the town centre, you will earn a credit that you can use to reduce or eliminate the cost of your parking. With your help and your investment, we're looking to change the way you stay and the way you pay for your car point. Thank you. I'll take any questions. A mobile phone app which boosts high street spending whilst saving you money on parking is the offering from Chris Reed. Chris is seeking £80,000 in return for a 32% share of his parking business. Jenny Campbell is first to take the concept out for a spin. Chris, hi. hi by the way, mine's a Jaguar f <laughs> Before you ask, it's not for you. No, no. <laughs> um, it's a neat idea, actually. Thank you, thank you. You drive in the car park and your phone suddenly goes bleep bleep, you're in this car park. Do you want to use this app to park today? And do you want to use the vouchers that you earned in McDonald's? Yeah. Yes, yes, thank you very much. Done. Absolutely, this is exactly what it's all about. I just need to download the app and, and, and off I go. OK. Yeah, absolutely. And what is your background? Well, I've, I've been in software primarily for the last sort of <clears throat> 25 years or so. Uh -huh. I took a business to a successful trade sale, uh, to a PLC. How much for? 2.2 million. And how much of that was yours? 500,000. OK, good. Unfortunately, the next business I set up, which again was in software, um, became a victim of the recession. OK. And how much of your 500,000 did you lose? Uh, all of it. <laughs> Whoa! Gosh. Yes, so it's been a tough couple of years, and mm. uh, this business is kind of my phoenix from the flames. Chris is no stranger to success or failure. And a resilient entrepreneur generally strikes a chord amongst the dragons. Now, Deborah Meadon wants to find out more about his latest venture. Chris, just to understand where the business sure. is at the moment, yeah. is it developed? Is it in use? We've completed um, effectively a pilot of the solution up in God's Country, up in the northeast, in Sunderland. Uh, what we did is we tested um, amongst um, the merchants and the consumer. So amongst the merchants, 45 businesses we interviewed and surveyed. 37% said they would contribute towards parking. OK. So you did a trial, 45 businesses, yep. and 63% said they wouldn't sign up. Why? Good question. Probably the most significant, I guess, would be the bigger nationals who have maybe a proprietary loyalty system. So whilst the local managers of those that we approached thought it was a great idea, as soon as that sort of decision went up through the chain of command, they were looking at it thinking, well, why would I reward somebody with money off their parking when we can stick some money on your loyalty card or whatever it might be? That's a really important point. It is, yeah. How do you overcome that? 
Well, the plan is to build momentum from the small independent shops within a particular location, get enough of those signed up, and then we believe that at a given tipping point, when enough people are spending through these platforms to earn their awards, that the Nationals would have to take notice. OK. Chris is confident that he can generate sufficient momentum amongst the smaller stores to convince the high street big boys to get on board. And Tej Lalvani wants to find out how much headway he's made with those other key players, the car park operators. Chris, have you had conversations with car parks? Have you got any one of them committed to deploying this? Good question. Um, we had two city centres committed to it. Unfortunately, uh, we had an investment lined up which didn't quite work, and that kind of stopped things moving. So that fell through? That fell through. So today, if you were to get the investment, are those contracts still available? We would have to revisit them, I have to be honest. And how much value was those contracts worth? We estimate that each location was worth between 100 and 250,000 pounds per year. Chris, can I just unpick something? Sure, certainly. 250,000 pounds revenue to you. Yeah. So how much is the car park that you're looking at here, how much does that take in terms of revenue a year? Well, we're looking at the turnover for the, the location as a whole, not one car park. OK, so your £250,000 revenue is for an entire city and yes. location. Yes. It's not for one car park. No. Right. Deborah Meaden is left disappointed as her questioning reveals a much more modest potential return than originally thought. Will a tech-savvy Peter Jones set aside the forecasts and predict profits in this parking app? Chris, I'm going to be really quick with this because I really do like it, and yet I think you're so up against it. Parking is moving towards full automation, full tracking, reg recognition. That is where this market's going. I don't believe in Britain in six to seven years' time there will be a car park that will not have reg registration tracking. That red recognition now is being deployed across seven regions. It's a very big contract it's taken on by two very big players without joining forces with them with regards to your app. I don't believe you've got a business. For that reason, I'm out. A major setback for Chris as the Den's technology titan dismisses his vision for the future of city centre parking. Is Deborah Meaden any more inclined to green light the Geordie entrepreneur's plans? Chris, I... I don't like it. OK. I did like it, and then I went quiet and I thought about it. Yeah. And I thought, shopping has already changed, and anybody who thinks that it's going to go back to city centres is wrong. Yep. What they are having to rethink is, what is a city centre yeah, yeah. now? I'm not sure that parking is part of that. So I think you've got an inbuilt obsolescence. We absolutely recognise that parking as a market can shrink. Parking space in city centres, from an environmental point of view, is something we're trying to sort of reduce. So part of our development roadmap is to build a sister application, which we've codenamed very cleverly Travel Perks, which basically uses the same model but rewards city centre spending with reduced public transport fares. We believe that that's potentially an even bigger um, opportunity. I completely get the... Pro I cannot tell you how much conversation is going up to say we actually don't want loads of cars. You know, we can't have this. The environment can't take it. And although you're thinking about that, and you're a smart guy, so I can see why you're thinking about that, it's not what you're standing here today offering me as an investment. Because of that, I can't invest. Okay. So, I'm out. Thank you for your feedback. Further disappointment for Chris as a second dragon walks away from the deal. Will supplement supremo Tej Lalvani be prepared to swap multivitamins for multi-stories? Chris, it's a slick idea. I like it. it. Simplifies things, which is good. 
But I think the real issue is that you don't have one contract, you don't have any established data to show us it's working, and you needed the capital to scale that across the country. I think if you had that, that would make sense. I think it's a bit early. Because of those reasons, it's, it's going to be challenging for me to, to make an investment today. So I'm out. Chris, you've made it very complicated. It's not complicated. Well, maybe it's complicated for me. Whether it's with the merchants, whether it's with local authorities, the motorists, you've got all these different components. In today's world, people want simplicity. And if I'm going to invest in something, it's, it's simplicity. And for that reason, I'm not going to invest and I'm out. A third and fourth dragon have shut the barriers to investment. This entrepreneur's hopes of getting his business back on the road now rests solely with cash point queen, Jenny Campbell. Chris, I don't think it's complicated at all. It's complex. Yes. But that doesn't mean to say it's complicated. Jenny thinks it's very simple, so it'd be easy for her to invest. No, I didn't say that. I said it was complex but not complicated, and I could understand it even if you couldn't. I did run a business that was complex in terms of cards in machines, gathering money into a big pot, divvying it all up. So I get it. So why is it taking a year since your last investor dropped out and you still haven't got it any further? It's a very good question. It's, it's you a real... You saying that. Yeah, no, well, it's, um, I've had different reasons from different investors as to why they, they've, they've not wanted to invest. It's been a frustrating process. Compared to going on a date, I've been on lots of dates. And I'm Have not, you? Yeah, and I've not got married yet, so... Oh, um, my God. Go. I'm right. not sure where to take that line of question. <laughs> That's thrown me completely now. Um, right. And you haven't been able to find that money through friends or family since then? Well, I'm from a council estate in the North East. Not many of my friends have got 80 kids. This is a hard one to climb, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But I like it. So I'm using. Do you own the business 100%? I own 91%. You've learned how to make money and learned how to lose it and you've brought an idea that might have legs, might have legs. So let's see if we can make this work then. I will offer you all of the money for 45 and a half percent of your business, i.e. equal partners with you. Do you want to go and talk to the wall? <laughs> the £80,000 Chris's business so desperately needs is within touching distance. But the price demanded by Jenny Campbell is high, almost half of his company. Time to seek the advice of someone. That's what I think. Or more accurately, something. Yeah. That seen and heard it all before. Uh, the wall's an idiot, by the way. He said no. But I said yes. We're on a date. OK, that's great. Well done. A monopoly on success for Chris, Mwah. whose free parking app has now passed go. Really appreciate it. Well done. Thank you. And collected £80,000. He leaves the den with the backing of a dragon who appears the perfect match for both him and his business. Well, I didn't get dressed up for nothing. Delighted to get the investment. Took I didn't quite get it, but Jenny certainly did. And I think she'll bring a lot of value and a lot of experience that I'm, I'm kind of looking for. Jenny, I'm so happy I'm going to get free parking for the rest of my life. 
that's going to be a, a tough right. one. Anyway, I hope he doesn't think we're going on a date in a car park. Oh, that took a turn I wasn't expecting. <laughs> 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 <laughs>